Hey, welcome back to Snap Bowl Games. My name is Max, and I'm here with another Modern League, and I am excited to get into this one. This is a brand new brew. I have not played any games with the deck yet. Before I get into the card choices and what this brew is, let me shout out my channel for those that don't know. It's youtube.com slash snapbolt. There's a link in the description. You can go to my channel, check it out. If you want to support me, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. You can ring the bell to know when the new videos come out. Generally, they come out every day. I've been busy with the 4th of July and everything going on. Been doing a lot of stuff. Um, so I haven't had that much time to play. Little disparity between when videos come out, but generally try to release a video every day. But again, ring the bell if you want to support me and know when my videos come out. You can comment down below as well. That's all I'm going to say on that front. Thank you so much for your support. And let's get right into this deck tech and what this deck is. And then we'll get right into a modern league. Okay. This is a brand new brew. Again, haven't played a, a, a game with the deck yet, um, but the idea is there. Okay, so it's a Ragavan deck, of course. I'm having a lot of fun with this monkey. This monkey is pretty OP. And then I know there's these monkey blade decks that just combined Stoneforge Mystic. I don't like this art, but that's what we got with this rental service. Shout out to Card Order. Thank you. They let me rent this entire deck as well. So shout out to the sponsor of this video card hoarder for the massive rental account but sometimes with the rental accounts you don't get the art you always do but i will say with card hoarder i generally have been getting the versions and cards uh, i want so that that's pretty sweet but gotta play with the this art stone forge this time no no big deal but again these monkey blade decks have been doing okay where they're ragavan stone forge but then they're mono island control decks that play like Cryptic Command, Archmage's Charm, Counterspell, all these cards are good, but I was like, well, what if I just cut blue and just be like a red-white mid-range deck with Ragavan Stoneforge, and then we can also play Blood Moon. Um, so we're kind of like a Jun deck, kind of like a Mardu Pyromancer deck, but we're just a Ragavan mid-range deck, and we should be pretty good in the mid-range mirrors, and I think our combo matchup should be absolutely terrible. <laughs> So we kind of get like push and pull. Again, I think we're like a really strong Jun deck with Blood Moon um, and, you know, Stoneforge Mystic Ragavan. But I think like if we play against something like Ad Nauseam, it's going to, it feels like it's almost going to be like impossible to win. So I think our matchup spread just is really important for as far as like how well we're going to do with the deck. Um, but let's go through all the card choices. Okay, so of course, that's where the deck started as being like Ragavan Stoneforge. And then everything around it kind of just fell into place. So our removal spells are Lightning Bolt, Prismatic Ending. This is a new all-star. This card is, is great. I think it's much better than Path. There's a lot of one mana things to kill. So it's a one mana sorcery, Exile. You can get Aether Vials. You can get other artifacts. You can get even like cheap enchantments. Um, and there's so many like one drops like Ragavan, Dragon Rage Channeler, all these new things to get. So Prismatic Ending looking really strong. And it's nice because like if people do have random like sideboard hate cards that are like cheap artifacts that they play or enchantments um you can just kill those or exile them with prismatic ending so that's pretty sweet um and then it, i'm just playing a ton of creatures to hold all the equipment and that's kind of the strategy of the deck esper sentinel was one that i like think is going to be great actually because going turn one esper sentinel turn two stoneforge is hard for a lot of decks to deal with because this says, whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card unless that pair pays X, where X is this creature's power. Um, so think about it. Turn one Esper Sentinel. They can't really kill it right away unless they, like, tap out. And then when you Stoneforge, it's like, it kind of protects the Stoneforge. It's a body that holds equipment. And it's good with equipment because it allows you to draw more cards. So, yes, it's not that impactful by itself, but it's good with all the equipment. And it just allows us to draw some cards and kind of, like be almost like a Thalia against our opponents because uh, it, seemed, it seems sweet. Then, of course, Stoneforge. Our other removal spell, <clears throat> excuse me, that I didn't really talk about is Skyclave Apparition. This card is just great, deals with a bunch of stuff. So between this and Prismatic Ending and Bolt, we actually have a ton of removal. And I should mention Solitude now as well. Just a couple Solitudes. We have a bunch of white cards. We have 16 other white cards, so 18 total, including the two Solitudes. So we should be able to free spell it, evoke it sometimes. but. Also, I kind of just included it as like a top end in the deck that can be a free spell. That's the thing I really like about, you know, cards like Fury and Solitude and this cycle in general is it gives you this pretty decent top end that's also a free spell. And the combo of the modal card of zero mana spell that, yeah, you have to pitch a card, 
plus decent top end for five mana is a good combination because it allows you to play a reasonably powered five drop in your deck that if you get stuck on two lands, you can just evoke and still cast spells. So Solitude seems like it's going to be great. We have a ton of removal. We have Ragavan. And our other card advantage engine is Season Pyromancer. This card seems great. A lot of bodies to hold the equipment. And if we just like, you know, play all of our other cards and then play a Season Pyromancer, we get card advantage and we can just make, you know, three bodies with this, which is nice. And I'm playing the full four equipment. One Feast and Famine, one Fire and Ice, Batter Skull, and Cauldron Complete. So that's a lot of equipment. A lot of people play like one of the swords, but I think that like this being our main game plan of putting equipment on creatures and attacking, I wanted both swords just for whatever matchup we're playing, I can get the sword I want. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll get uh, both swords equipped onto a creature and just slam in. Um, before I get to the sideboard, let me quickly go over the mana base because there is like, you know, a lot I could change in the mana base. So it got a little disorganized here, but that's okay. We're, I'm playing eight fetch lands and all of the fetch lands can get planes because that's good with Blood Moon to be able to get basic planes. Playing four planes, two mountains, four sacred foundries, eight fetch lands, and then four sunbake canyons and 24 lands total, which is a lot of lands. But I like having a lot of lands. We have a ton of three drops. We want to keep playing lands. Yes, there's Nanbo of Sunbake Canyon and Blood Moon, but otherwise, this will allow us to keep going, keep drawing cards. Um, I will say this is a kind of sweet tech, is you play one Triome, and then you play one off-color Shockland that's not of the Triome. So this allows Prismatic Ending when we don't have Blood Moon to be able to be cast for X equals three or four. And it's good to have one Triome, one other off-color uh, Shock, and that is because sometimes you can just get your trial when it's a red white land you know plus the black but then sometimes you like have like let's say plains mountain in play but then you need to prismatic ending on turn three so you can go fetch land fetch shock hallowed fountain and then you go blue white red prismatic ending for three different colors but it's nice to have the option of tap land that provides a color and potentially untapped land that provides the other color so that's why you see these two lands and the only other thing I could change in the mana base would be to play the red white fast land. I wasn't sure if I wanted that, especially with Blood Moon, but maybe two or three or even four copies is correct. You could cut like a Sacred Foundry, one or two Sunbake Canyons, and maybe even a basic or a fetch and play the full four red white fast lands, which might be worth it with Esper Sentinel Ragavan and not taking damage. But uh, I'm going to try it with just the full fetch shock mana base and basics because of Blood Moons. And then in the sideboard, we have a third Blood Moon and a Magus of the Moon, just as like additional Blood Moons against big mana decks. Two Furies, when, when those are gonna be good, they're really good, so bring those in. A Shattering Spree and a Stony Silence against Artifacts. A Rest in Peace and triple Sanctifier and Vec. This is actually another reason I wanted to play the deck, because Spike's Red Black Midrange deck, the last deck I played on my channel, um, which is really strong right now. And this card just seems great against that, especially with equipment. I almost played one main, um, but I don't think we wanted to go that deep yet. But yeah, triple Sanctifier in fact, one rest in peace, just as kind of like a little uh, split almost, because this card is so well positioned, I think. Then two path, uh, just for when we want them, maybe against Titan and stuff. And then triple timely reinforcements against Spurn. So again, our combo matchup's bad, kind of just conceding the combo matchup. Don't even really want to try to fight it. We'll just try to aggro them out with like Esper Sentinel, Stoneforge Mystic into either Feast and Famine or Fire and Ice and just go aggro and then deal with random permanents with this. And that's kind of our plan. Um, but I think if we're playing against like Death Shadow decks, if we're playing against, you know, just other random kind of like Jun style decks, red, black, mid range, I think our matchup should be decent. And uh, look who we got here. He's trying to head, head out, but... We got Luz here to say a quick hello um, <laughs> before we get into the games. You ready for Rekka Vandu? Yeah, he's ready. All right, let's go round one. All right, welcome to round one. This hand looks totally acceptable. This is what we do. We mid-range, right? GLHF, keep. We go turn one has per sentinel, turn two has per sentinel. Looks like we're probably against blue-red Merktide, a deck that I've been doing incredibly well with. I think it's the best deck right now. If I had to play a challenge, I'd definitely play Blue-Red Delver, Blue-Red Merktide. 
They say, howdy, you too. Howdy, wow. Throwing out the howdy. Okay, I see how it is. Sunbaked Canyon, let's just get Plains, Esper Sentinel. I don't know what deck they think we are, but maybe they just think we're like death and taxes at this point. Yep, this is definitely just blue, red, murk tide, and Esper Sentinel is, is nice in this matchup. Let's just start by attacking. I'm probably just going to play Esper Sentinel and tap Sacred Boundary. I don't need to shock necessarily, and double Esper Sentinel should be pretty annoying for them. I mean, they can bolt one, opt and pay one. Wow, this is not good for them because they have so many spells, and they have to find burn spells to kill these and pay a bunch of mana. It's going to slow them down a lot, or... I just really am going to start drawing cards here. Subtlety? No. Okay. Esper Sentinel tap win. Go ahead. If they play some cheap threat, I can just Skyclave it or Bolt it. And just keep getting in there with my 1-1s. One Seems good. Okay. This is the downside of having like infinite removal spells. But, I mean, we're sitting here with our two Esper Sentinels and some Bolts up. Doesn't seem too bad. No monkeys yet for us. I assume they're going to play like a lightning bolt and pay two. No? Wow. Okay, so it's Teamer Delver probably. I don't think I want to bolt them or anything. I'm just going to keep untapping here. Luckily, I'm still hitting land drops, which is nice. I mean, this two damage a turn is definitely relevant. Plus, yeah, they have to take a, they have to pay a bunch of mana here. Okay. Let's let them pay. Yeah, no Stoneforge, no Ragavan, and them not committing threats to the board it is pretty rough against our draw specifically, but I wonder if I should just crack Sunbait Canyon at this point. Because then I'll still have three mana to play Skyclaves. Yes, I can't play Solitude, but I have so much other removal. I think it's actually worth at this point. Let's just draw. Ooh, could have done that earlier. I think I'm just going to play a Ragavan now. The removal it seems like it was kind of taxed to find even a bolt for one of these. I'm just going to play this. I could wait and dash, but I don't hate this. What is this? Electro Dominance? I was not expecting that. Okay, so it's not the deck at all that I thought it was. And then they can cast a bolt out of their graveyard, and then I get to draw. Oh, oh, from their hand, uh, Ancestral Vision. You may cast a spell, and it's not the first spell they cast, so that I, they, uh, I don't even get to draw a card off as per Sentinel. Hmm. I'm in a rough, I'm in rough shape now. This is again not what I thought it was going to be. I think I'm going to just bolt them at this point. It's not great, but it's what we got. Classic, just draw Calder complete. We just didn't really draw the threats in the right order here. Okay, let's just keep trying. I mean, if they like cascade into Rhino, that's going to be annoying for us, but there's not much I can really do about that. As foretold, yeah. Okay, then they're going to pay one. Just really ne never had the pressure to follow up after these Esper Sentinels, but these still are good in this matchup. Wow, they're just going off here. Okay, they're down to nine, though. And then lightning bolt that, pay one. Okay, I'm in trouble. wonder if I should bolt them down to six and then draw a card with Sunbay Canyon. I think I am going to draw as bad as that is. I mean, I, I thought I could naturally draw land and then Skyclave this. Okay, let's just bolt them. I don't know if they, they're going to have any creatures that I can bolt anyway, and I'm going to be using my mana here most likely. The good news is Blood Moon should be pretty good against them. Get to get this out of here. Okay. Pass the turn. Relatively close to hard casting the Solitude. I just need to draw one more land and two more turns away. Finale, Bolt plus Ancestral. Jeez, they are just going off. So they're going to get a 3-3 three, three and draw three cards. It's pretty impressive. I wonder if I want to just bring in... probably do want Rest in Peace. 
They might have Dreadhorde Arcanist as well. Hmm. Okay, they have a 3 3, sure. I can't Skyclave that. Ragavan, huh? They have seven cards in hand. I mean, this is likely just going to die. I think I want to just play Ragavan, play Triome. They're down to six, so if I draw a land, I can just hard cast a Solitude next turn. The problem is now they won't attack with their 3-3, three, three, or what is this? Just Electro Dominance, cast like another Ancestral, or cast Rhinos here, probably. All right, they just did the thing. We're just definitely getting outclassed by all those Ancestrals, and they have Greater Gargadon as well. Wow. So does that mean they have a... Uh, the balance card as well. They very well could. Oh wow, I'm just like about dead from this. Okay, well I'm glad I didn't go for Solitude. I'm just gonna try to cast it. I don't know if they really have counter spells. Oh, they do. Remand, okay. We just were way too slow there. That was not great from, not a, a a pretty bad showing from our deck, honestly. Okay. Rest in peace and or Sanctifier and Vex seems decent. Just don't know how great Sanctifier actually is. Maybe just Rest in Peace. I also don't necessarily think I want Path. I could just minimally sideboard here. Oh, I should I should bring in these. These seem like they could be good. Magus, yes, it just gets bolted, but it's, we're going to try to pressure their um, removal just with Ragavan, Esper Sentinel, Stoneforge um, by making them use all their removal on that stuff. Sanctifier, the only reason it's good is, yes, it exiles cards from graveyards, the red cards, but most of their removal is going to be red. So Sanctifier just putting equipment onto it, they can't really deal with it. That does something. Hmm. I think I'm just going to bring these three cards in and that's it. Prismatic Ending's not great, not bad. Skyclave's also a little bit clunky in this matchup, although it can just nicely get as foretold. This just doesn't deal with Rhinos, and this does. Kills a Rhino for one mana. They don't have that many permanents. I can just do something like this, or even just bring in one Sanctifier to kind of get them. Bolts doesn't seem that great. Okay, I'm fine with this. That made our deck look real bad there, though. <laughs> Do you like to play first? Yes. Okay, let's keep. This hand looks totally fine. Turn two, Stoneforge. Turn three, Blood Moon. I don't think they're going to play around Blood Moon, really. I mean, all power to them if they do, but... Gemstone Caverns, Pitching, Serum Visions, okay. Just play our tap land, turn to Stoneforge. I wonder what we should get. Maybe just Batter Skull. Could get Calder Complete, but I feel like they, they're going to have a lot of burn in their deck. Hmm. I already have a 5 drop to play at that time. I think I will just get Cauldre Complete, force them to use a, a Burn Spell on the Stoneforge right now, and if they don't, then I get to just put a Cauldre Complete in and start whacking them. They just suspended an Ancestral. Interesting. They have four cards left. I mean, they could Cascade as early as next turn, but I guess they, they don't really Cascade. I guess they just ask for told. I'm going to get Cauldre Complete. Could have gotten Sword of Fire and Ice as well. That would have been a decent get. But they only have four cards in hand. Yes, they Serum Visioned, but if they have Burn for this, they have to play it now, and then I just get to uh, hopefully resolve Blood Moon. So I think getting the Cauldre Complete is fine. It's the biggest threat. And if they just like Rhinos right now or something, I just get to Cauldre Complete. Yeah, they Bolt it. Sure. 
They don't have a land. Wow. I'm just going to get the Blood Moon here. And I have double planes, which is nice. I will no longer be able to prismatic ending. Maybe they're looking for force here. I'd be surprised if they have force of negation in their deck still. Okay, I mean that ancestral visions is gonna go off, which is obviously great in this matchup. Alright, let's pass the turn. I guess I could have also I didn't need to solitude main phase like I did, but sure, whatever. So this goes off next turn. Okay, and now I'm down to just cast a season pyromancer, I think. Let's cast this pitching blood moon and sunbake canyon, I suppose. I could pitch like no, I don't want to pitch ending, and I don't really want to pitch cauldron complete either. Let's just pitch these two. Okay. Nice. This is looking fine. Yes, they get to draw three cards here, but can they really cast like their blue spells? I mean, I guess they can just draw island. Nope. They can cast electro dominance still, but nothing I can do. Oops. Maybe you wanted to Pyromancer first, but I actually misclicked there. I'm just going to attack. If they Rhino, they Rhino. Could always Solitude something. Let's go Season Pyromancer now. I'm at 5 mana. I mean, I'm close to casting this Cauldre Complete. I wonder if I should just discard it here. It's close. I kind of want to hold on to this ending. I can discard Season Pyromancer Prismatic Ending or Season Pyromancer Cauldre Complete. I'm going to hold on to the Complete. I mean, it feels like a good way if I get to 7 mana, I just slam it. Let's just do this. Okay, well, can cast Complete next turn, so let's, let's go with that. Now we're just... This is more like what I thought our deck would look like. <laughs> yeah, just lock him out with Blood Moon and then slam Cauldre Complete. Seems good. Just doing it the hard way. No blue mana. Doubt they have Force of Negation. And then just sign with everything. Cycle. Wow. Are they going to try to... Oh. Is Electro Dominance a sorcery? Bolt. Sure. Okay. And they're essentially dead next turn. Now they know about Blood Moon, though, which helps them, but okay. I, th I still think Blood Moon's good against them because it looks like their mana base is a little bit greedy as far as basics. So definitely going to keep the four moons in, in this matchup. I wonder if I want more Sanctifiers to just go like... Then I can just Stoneforge for Sword of Fire and Ice and then just slam that onto a Sanctifier and there's not that much they can do. Again, Skyclave Apparition, maybe sh I can just side out all of them. Yes, it gets as foretold, but usually they can go as foretold and then play a, one of their free spells that turn. Well, let me. What's the what's the wording on as foretold? Let me look it up. Using Gather here, which I don't usually use. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter. Once per turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with mana value X or less, or X is the number of time counters on it. It does get pretty out of hand. You do want some answers to that, I think. All right, let's see. Could just run it back. Do I want one more Sanctifier? I mean, Bolt seems pretty bad, honestly. They could have Snapcaster Mage or... Um, Dreadhorde Arcanist as well. I don't kind of want to hedge a little bit there. Maybe Solitude is bad, but again, that also deals with Rhinos. I'm just going to have the one Sanctifier. Let's just run it back. All right, we got this. All right. 
And I'm not mulliganing this hand. It's no Stoneforge Mystic, but I'm going to keep. This is going to be a Serum Visions here. And they get the island, sure. I mean, Esper Sentinel is very good in this matchup. I feel like it's pretty annoying for them. These two Skyclaves, again, I only have two in the deck, and we have both of them here. But that was a good draw. Ooh, I guess if I don't get Sacred Foundry, I don't necessarily have double red on three for Pyromancer. I should have just gone Shock Sentinel, because I wanted to get Planes, but now I don't know if I can. They already have basic anyway. That was just a misplay there as well. Should have definitely gone shock into Sentinel rather than Fetch Shock. But is what it is. Wow. They have to let me draw a card. That's so bad for them. They must not have lands. They top topped. Interesting. Bottom bottom now. And then tap land. Wow. That's pretty bad for them, I feel like. Alright, let's play another one, which is annoying for them. And then, do I just play a Sacred Foundry? I think so. I think I just play this tapped and attack for one. These really don't put much pressure on, especially without Stoneforge, but I mean, allowing us to draw cards is relevant. They don't have another land, wow. I guess I'll just start by attacking. And then I might go fetch planes, play season pyromancer, discard, maybe even I guess land plus apparitions probably the play. Could also discard double land, but I actually want to make more pressure here. These aren't really doing anything. This is gonna be a remand, let me draw two. Could discard double apparition. No, I think I want one. Guess I'll hold planes over Hallowed Fountain. Is there any way I want to ending? Probably not. Ending for three, I mean. Okay, well, just drew a bunch of plans there. They're lightning bolting a sentinel, letting me draw one. I'm fine with this. They, ca they kind of have to do that. We're just a little bit flooded now. But if they just go like as foretold rhinos, that's something I can beat. I get to draw a card here. Magus. Okay, Magus is good. Into Restore Balance. Wow, so I have to discard a bunch of cards and sack my board. It's annoying. Choose four cards in my hand. So I definitely want Magus, Skyclave Evaporation, Ending, and One Land. Okay, and that was a good uh, that was a good balance. I would want to Magus right here, but I think it's more important to uh, Skyclave the Aspertold. Just get this out of there so they can't cast free spells with it. Yeah, they can bolt this and get a three three, but. Nothing I can do. Suspend Greater Gargon. Okay, well, at least they didn't do that last turn. Start by attacking. And then I'm going to play an Esper Sentinel into Magus. And then hold the Season Pyromancer. They're going to Lightning Bolt this and pay the one. A Braid, let me... Oh, no, I, I didn't have the Sentinel down. Okay. So they get the 3-3. Three, three. That's fine. I'm still going to go Sentinel into Magus here. Then I can ending this later if I want. I could go like ending into Pyromancer next turn potentially. Nice. We're kind of doing our thing here. They have a Gargadon suspended. It's on 10 counters right now. Gotta remember that, that they can sack their permanents to Gar Gargadon. Can this sack any permanent? Sack an artifact, creature, or land. So not any permanent, but most. So if I like ending this, they obviously just sack it to Gargadon, but sure. All right, let's do it. Ending that for one. Sack it to Gargadon. You got it. Then attack. And then play land, season Pyromancer. 
I'll probably leave up red mana, because I've already played a bunch of Sentinels and I could draw a Ragavan. I, I guess I wouldn't even play Ragavan. Could just dash it next turn. Who knows? Still going to go Sunbait Canyon. Oh, a Breed and then pay one. They're targeting the Esper Sentinel over the Magus. Wow. Okay. That's gone. Hit for two. Land, Pyromancer. Discard two, draw two. It's our Ancestral there, and that is uh, potentially a really good draw. Okay. Pass. And if they do kill this, then I'm going to unlock my Sunbait Canyons, be able to keep drawing cards. Gemstone Caverns. As foretold, into what? Into Rhinos. Okay, well... Sword of Feast and Famine, pretty good against that. Lightning Bolt. All right, let's go land. Sword. What should I equip here? Probably the Season Pyromancer, so they have to kill that if they have a Lightning Bolt. Oh, I should have leapt up Bolt. That was just bad. Hopefully I don't get punished. Looks like I'm not getting punished here. Maybe I should have gone for a clip onto Magus, but... Wow, they have to discard their last card, which was... a Brazen Borrower. Now I get to equip here. Nice. Protect my Magus from Bolts now. Wow, this is looking great. Ooh, I could have also floated one extra mana and then made two one ones. That was a mistake. They can't even attack with their rhinos into my magus. Gotta watch out for this though. Six suspend counters. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they top deck ancestral vision. No. That is not ideal. I'm pretty close to killing them though still. Because I have this four power high. I, I think I punted because... The Season Pyromancer in the Graveyard, again, if I had the one mana up, tap it for mana in response to the Sword Trigger, untap, and then tap 5, use the Season Pyromancer ability, make two one ones, and then still have mana to re-equip. Hmm. Wow, they're getting in just for 4? Do they have a Brazen Bar to bounce Sword? No, they're just getting... Oh, they're going to Wrath. Okay, I see. As foretold into, do, do they really draw the Restore Balance? Yeah, they did. Wow. Okay, well, oh, and they're going to sack all their lands as well. Hmm. And then they're just going to kill me with Gargadon. One, two, three, four, five. It comes down next turn. So I have to sack all my lands. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Make them discard their last card, I suppose, but I'm just going to die to Gargadon. That top deck Ancestral Vision into second as foretold Restore Balance was, was brutal. Don't think I have any outs. Because then they just Gargadon hit me for nine, and then I'm just dead next turn. If I draw a Ragavan, it's just not going to do it. GG. Damn, that was an incredible draw from the opponent. I thought we had that. Good good match, good match. <laughs> and then they top deck that, sure. And it was a Ragavan. GG's. Our deck didn't feel that powerful, though. Um... Felt like that should be like a winnable matchup, but they were able to just do their thing. We weren't really able to disrupt them too much. The Esper Sentinels did work, but not quite enough. All right, let's try to get the next one, see you in round two. All right, welcome to round two. We're on the play. I was going to say, can we have a turn one monkey? We do. I'm going to keep this land heavy hand. No companion to get with this deck. Kind of sucks. A deck like this would definitely want a companion. Um... I'm fine to just Mountain Monkey here, I think. Because then I can Arid Mesa for, uh, for planes. 
Hopefully we draw a Stoneforge, which would be ideal. It's our best draw, I think, at least on the first turn. We have, like, no other gas. Okay, Tapland. Gonna get to hit with Monkey. Nice. Hopefully we get a spell off their deck so we can do something on turn two. Are they gonna play, like, a free spell? Right, let's just start by attacking. Maybe just get to ramp out this Solitude also if we just miss. Monkey is pretty insane. Nice, what do we hit? Non-land. It's a Ren and Six. Wow, that is sick. Alright, so let's go Blooded Strand. I guess I could have gone Arid Mesa, which might have been better. And then I get planes, cast run in six, return flooded strand to my hand. Jeez. So we're just up against Jund. Let's see if my statement of being good against Jund holds up. That was the Oh no, no, I, I can't use mana of any color, but I have the treasure. Ooh, good thing I, I didn't fuck that up. <laughs> Jeez, this is insane. That's the best uh monkey hit I've had thus far. Just monkey into Ren and Six. Jeez. I can also start Sunbait Canyoning to draw more cards too with Ren and Six. Nice. Okay, they Ren and Six kill my monkey. Sure. Yep. Nothing I can do there. Oh, I just get to dash. Kill. Ren and six if I want, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then just fetch and um bring the land back with Ren. I think I'd rather kill Ren than hit them. And then go flooded strand, get a sacred foundry. I guess I could have gotten Triome. I sh I should have gotten Triome. Well, maybe not, because now I can draw a Triome and cycle it later. And then bounce Rag back to my hand. Just have a Renin 6 on 5 as well, which is nice. Inquisition. Look at my terrible hand here. I can start drawing extra cards and returning Sunbait Canyon to my hand at some point, but I do want to get up to 5 mana for this Solitude as well. Are they going to play like a Goyf here? Yeah. 3-4 Goyf, okay. Prismatic Ending. Well, that was a good draw, because I can just Ending this. Um, let's just do that. Ending. Cast with two colors. So good against Goyf, geez. And then... I think I'm just going to get another... Sacred Foundry here, just leave the Triome in the deck to cycle for later. Could be good to get the third color, but let's just not. Okay. Now we got plenty of mana. Might be able to ult this Ren and Six at some point too, which would be good with all these lands. Then I can just start casting Prismatic Ending from the Graveyard over and over. Which should be fantastic. So they might just be Boomer Jun. Bloodbraid Elf here? I feel like this is a Bloodbraid. Yeah, wow. Bloodbraid into what? Not Thoughtseize. It's a Voidwalker. Okay. That's good. They get to attack this down to three. And then I get to Solitude, one of their creatures. Which is good. So yeah, it's just Boomer Jund. Another Solitude. That's a great draw. So, if a card goes into my graveyard, it gets exiled with a Void Counter on it instead. So I can't... I can't Solitude this and put a, a Fetch Land in my graveyard, so I, I'm not going to be able to return a land with Ren this turn, but I'll just go Plains. I could just Solitude now. Is there a reason to? Yeah, I don't want to let them untap with this. I'd rather just get the Voidwalker out of there now. Just cast this the hard way. 
and then just plus ren and six for no value to put it to four just in case they go like removal spell attack i'll still have ren around seems solid and again i think this is a good matchup for us we have both swords which are good we have stoneforge batter skull stoneforge culture complete we have blood moon just Skyclave Apparition, Ragavan, Esper Sentinels, fine, not crazy. We'll see what they do here. Hitting the Ren and Six was just clutch, otherwise the Tan wouldn't have done anything at all. <laughs> now I'll probably start drawing cards with this Sunbake Canyon if I can afford it, but maybe not even quite yet because... I'd probably just rather leave up a, a Solitude next turn. They don't know about this second Solitude. So that's kind of sweet. All right, opponent deep in the tank here. They're maybe thinking if they can like play a removal spell on this Solitude, maybe get the Ren and Six down. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm kind of expecting them to have Ragavan as well, who knows? Might have to just pause here and let them think in the tank. I mean, I don't know what they could be thinking about. Like maybe they have a Liliana and they're thinking, well, if I go, if they go Liliana minus attack Ren in six, then their Liliana's at one and it can die to this Ren minus. Not really sure. Maybe they're thinking, do I just jam another Bloodbraid Elf? I feel like if they had Bloodbraid, they would just jam. Let's pause and come back when they made a decision. Looks like they're, they clicked on a card to cast here, but they haven't cast anything yet. So they're still, they're still in the tank. I came back too soon. Polpo 87, what you got? Is red white mid range strong enough here, or is the deck just terrible? If we can't, if this match, I mean, I guess Jund is going to be like still fifty percent against us, but I, I'd say we're favored. I I don't think they're fifty percent. They're still not making a decision. Jeez. have Goyth, Goyf and Voidwalker. Yeah, so there's the Liliana. Or maybe they were just deciding how to tap. They're going to minus. They're going to attack Ren. I'm probably just going to minus Ren at this point. Just get the Liliana out of there. We'll see what I draw. They have Peatland up. Totsie, oh no. We have no gas left. Sucks. Stoneforge Mystic was one of the best draws we could have. I mean, I'm still just going to go Ren and Six, kill Liliana, Stoneforge for Calder Complete. They need another Thoughtseize, otherwise I just get to hard cast Calder Complete next turn. So let's just get both of their Planeswalkers out of there. Play a Stoneforge Mystic. And then I'll play a fetch land, and I'll probably just fetch the Hallowed Fountain at this point. Let's get Cauldra complete. That's tough for that deck to deal with. And then just play Flooded Strand to pass the turn. Oh, they said it's lagged. Okay, so they weren't in the tank. They're, they're just lagging, having trouble with internet connections or something. Understandable. So I don't want to see another Thought Seize effect here. All right, Blood Braid in two. Liliana. Okay, that's fine. They can minus, but again, we can just hard cast this Calder complete with all the lands we have. They probably should minus. Maybe getting Batter Skull is better, but I don't really think so, honestly. 
I'm just going to get Hallowed Fountain here. I could get another Plains, but All right, they're leading back one Bloodbraid to Chump. Sure. So I go to 13. Get Hallowed Fountain. They have two cards left. I don't really care about Liliana Plus. They don't know about Marsh Flats, but they do know about Area Mesa. I'm just going to fetch Plains in case I draw Blood Moon later. I want more white sources. And then just cast Cauldre Complete here. Attack Lily. Then they can chump plus Lily, try to chump again, and then minus on the Cauldre Complete. So I just basically need to draw another creature. But this is pretty hard... Except for Liliana's, it's hard for Jen to deal with uh, Cauldre Complete because it's indestructible and the equipment's indestructible. Okay, they're just letting the Lily go. So now they might just kill us with like double bolt and attack. Maybe they left this back as like a fake. Also top decking like a sword or something, a sword of fire and ice would be just so sick here. Another Lily or another Bloodbraid Elf. Another Bloodbraid Elf, so if they hit Bolt, I lose. I mean, I'm in trouble regardless. Is that a Thoughtseize? <laughs> okay. I don't have anything to take. I do need to draw something, though, because they're hitting me for 9 down to 3. So, kind of wish that I had gotten Batter Skull. Jeez, if they had only attacked with Bloodbraid last turn as well. Overgrown Tomb tapped, one card left. I have a lot of good draws. Ending is not a good draw on this board. Right, let's, draw, let's draw another card. Skyclave Apparition could do it. Wow. So we just lose. Wow, that felt pretty bad. Felt like we should have should have had a good uh good chance to win that game. That honestly kind of sucked. I mean, Sanctifier and Vec has pro black and red, which is most of their stuff. Seems like a good thing to just slap equipment onto. Rest in Peace is also decent against them. Just like turns off Goyf. Blood Moon and Magus are also decent. It's a lot of sideboard. I think I want both of these equipment as well. Everything seems like it should be pretty good. Maybe Esper Sentinel is just not good enough here. Skyclave Apparition actually does seem good. Fury also seems good at like something to hard cast, but yeah, maybe it's not good enough. It can also go down on like some number of bolts. Maybe Magus of the Moon is not great. Alright, let's just try this. Keep in like all the value. Maybe Prismatic Ending is a little clunky, but it deals with Goyf and Voidwalker pretty nicely. Let's just keep it in. Maybe Siding Out Bolt is pretty crazy. Also, Bolt deals with Liliana. If anything, I could go down one Ending. I could go down one Skyclave, Solitude, or Season Pyromancer, but that seems kind of crazy. Maybe just Ending is a... Just dealing with Goyf is huge. Alright, I'm going to cut a bolt. Still have a good amount of removal here. Just slap an equipment onto a Sanctifier in Vec. I'm going to keep this hand, actually. I don't really want to mulligan too much in this matchup. And Season Pyromancer is a really good card in the matchup. This deck is feeling incredibly bad, though. I feel like it, it's better than it's playing out so far. Inquisition, okay. See the pyromancer are down. I'll just play planes if I don't draw a different land. Oh, nice. Now, what am I getting? Maybe just batter skull at this point? 
think just batter skull because then if this dies this is still pretty castable and if it doesn't die i can just put it in a batter skull next turn i could have gotten a, like a sword of beast and famine or a sword of fire and ice but it seems like it's going to be a while till i connect with one of those thought seas take the batter skull sure I would take a seasoned pyromancer. They're really scared of that. Or another thought sees here. Take batter skull. Fatal push. Okay. Still gonna go seasoned pyro. Get to discard solitude plus bolt, I guess. Keep the batter skull. I don't like keeping the batter skull. If I can draw more lands and then just it should be pretty good in this matchup. It's better than keeping bolt, I think. Okay. That's fine. Season Pyromancer is definitely a house in this matchup though. And now if they just play any like threat, I just get to skyclave that. So this is kind of like also what I was expecting, but we've not been doing well so far. Goyf, okay. Get to just exile that Goyf here. Do I want to shock in to have Bolt up? I, I think it's actually probably worth it. Let's do that. Let's just go to 16 and have Bolt up. Because then if they Inquisition, I can just Bolt them in response. Uh, bolt in response. We should be really good against Goyf, though, with Skyclave and Prismatic Ending. Yeah, I like Levy Ant Bolt here. It's worth the two life, I think. I don't think the two life is really what this game is likely to come down to. It's good, like, also if they play something like a Bloodbraid Elf that I can bolt it if I want and then untap, draw land, and play Batter Skull. Voidwalker. Okay, well, I'm just going to bolt that. Yeah, we just got out pretty far ahead. I think this was a good hand to keep, and drawing the Stoneforge Mystic was just massive. Nice. Just going to jam right now. And attack with everything. Yes, they can bolt the Skyclave and then eat an Elemental. I still think... Maybe I don't attack with the Elementals because I'm so far ahead. Play around Lightning Bolt. I think that's fine. If they bolt the Skyclave, they still get to trade with this. Maybe just attack with everything. And I still get in for three damage. Whatever. Just gonna attack with everything. Yeah, they do have it. Chose not to play around it. Maybe I should have, but I still think I'm ahead here, so sure. I can just start making more elementals. I still have my batter skull. They're down to nine. Raging Ravine. Two cards left. Liliana is still not good on the board. So, I mean, it's not bad. It's just not great. Especially with these in the yard. Maybe opponent is lagging here. Hard to say. Colgan's command. Well, that was really bad for us. Boomer John doing its thing. Just making me look silly. For that attack, at least. Ragavan. I think I want to just attack and trade. And then just end of turn, exile one of the season pyros from the yard. And then next turn, try to dash Ragavan to try to get in there. They're going to trade here, like 100%. And then maybe I draw another cheap spell, so next turn I can double spell. If I just dash, dash Ragavan, they just block that. I'd rather do this, and then end of turn, make two tokens. Alright, Blooming Marsh, you got it. Bloodbird Elf, 
Oh, Liliana. So they're going to plus get my Ragavan. It's annoying. I could draw a card and then dash it. I think I'd rather just season Pyro. All right, Ragavan down. Okay, make two elementals. I can just keep making elementals. Should be pretty decent. See what I draw. Sword would be great. Skyclave. I think I'm down to just Skyclave the Liliana. It just gets it out of there. Yes, I could just attack it and, and then make season pyromancer tokens, but then they just plus it again and get my Skyclave. This just gets me like decent value, get a little bit of damage in. Not gonna crack this yet. I wanna keep making season pyromancer tokens. They draw Peatland. They're just gonna leave Ravine back as a blocker, I suppose. Could crack to draw, because maybe out of the next two draws I draw land anyway. All right, it's just mana efficient, let's go. Land. All right, there's a stone forge. nice. So now they have zero cards in hand. I can just stone forge for Sword of Feast and Famine or Sword of Fire and Ice. Seems good to me. Then I can just play that sword too. So they would need like another Colgan's command to deal with it. Now which one's better, Feast and Famine or Fire and Ice? Probably Fire and Ice. This is green and red anyways, but I have protection from it. Feast and Famine gives me more protection, but this just like kills them faster and lets me draw a card, so. Triple Plains could give away that we have Blood Moon, but is what it is. Obviously, I'm not going to attack into a Ravine. They probably just draw a card here. This is looking good, though. Like, even if they have removal, it's not that bad. I guess if they have a removal spell that they can kill when I attack after clipping, that would be bad. But if I go to, I uh, concede. Okay, nice. So we got enough value there from the Stone Forge. We have triple Blood Moon still too, and triple Sanctifier. It's kind of hard for them to deal with. All right. Don't think I want Path either. Yeah, this is just looking good. Let's go, let's go game three. We got this. All right, game three against Boomer Jund. We have all the Ragavans we could ever hope for, but no lands. Actually, zero lands. All right, well, this, hand, this hand's actually good. This is, this is interesting. I mean, I think I need to just put back Cauldra Complete. It's tempting to keep it because then I can, like, Stoneforge for Batter Skull, but this is likely to die anyway. So I think I just need to put back complete. And this is probably one uh, a hand where I can stone forge, assuming I don't get Thought Caesar Inquisition, which is high hopes, but the plan would be stone forge for feast and famine, put it on this, and then go to town, you know, but it's I'm not gonna be able to necessarily get there, but they might have to take stone forge over sanctifier. Just depends on their hand and everything. Oh, no ignoble hierarch. Okay, well that allows me to bolt that on one. I can also ending it. I think I'd rather lightning bolt because I can ending like a glaive. Bolt the bird. Oh, but now I can't sanctify her on two or even three potentially. I wonder if I was supposed to fetch shock. Uh, I don't know. I'm still going to stoneforge on two over sanctifier anyway. This is a goif. Oh, ren and six. Might need to just prismatic ending that before so they don't just keep getting value indefinitely. Planes is good. If I have Stone Forge, I still can't ending this next turn also. I think I just need to ending the Ren in six. 
I think that's just the line. Okay, looks good. They got value out of that though. They two for one me. It's kind of what Ren and Six does. I thought about going Naya with this build and playing Ren and Six too, but I honestly don't think I could afford that anyway. <laughs> Just too many expensive modern cards. Now next turn I could go Stoneforge plus Tapland. Okay, now I cannot, but I do get to play one of my two threats next turn. They'll probably take Stoneforge here. Maybe not though. Maybe like... They don't have many answers in their deck to this, and they need to just take Sanctifier and then deal with the Stoneforge two for one. I wouldn't be surprised if they take Sanctifier here, honestly. They take Stoneforge, okay. Second Ren and Six. That's not ideal. Could be just a Goyf, which is also kind of bad. It is a Goyf, 4-5 Goyf. I have so many answers to Goyf in my deck, though. There's one of them, okay. I can just take a hit off this. It doesn't really do anything. Getting this down is also good. I think I'd rather make sure to kill the Goyf. Just gonna play this land that has to be tapped because if i draw another two drop or something then i can go sanctifier plus another two drop i think it was worth it just to get the goyf out of there it's tough to say honestly void walker okay and skyclave wow now do i just skyclave this or do i sanctifier first I mean, they can still attack me for three. Then they could Thought Seize my Skyclave and cast it potentially. Why don't I just Skyclave that thing? They could Liliana. I wonder if I should not play land to kind of play around a Liliana. I think I'm going to do that, actually. I'm going to just hold the land in my hand. Because then if they go Liliana, they're going to Liliana minus regardless, right? Okay, maybe that doesn't make sense. Might want to just keep this in play to fetch a basic. They did They did have the bolt. They had the 2-2 blue illusion creature. Sure. I think I'm just going to keep the Arid Mesa in play like I was saying. Mountain was one of the worst draws possible. I mean, again, they shouldn't really have much answers in their deck to this other than Liliana, which they could certainly have. Now we have so many good draws. Season Pyromancer, Either Sword, Batter Skull. I wonder if I should just fetch at this point. I could just fetch a basic, just to thin. All right, let's just do that. Should have probably done it last turn if I was going to do it now. Okay, Rag. Might as well just dash the Ragavan and just try to trade with this, just so then this can start getting through. I can also just play a Ragavan, no attack, because then if I draw an answer to this, then I can start attacking with both. I guess there's no real reason to, to trade now, except that I can start attacking with this later. All right, I'm going to dash. Just offer the trade for the Illusion, I guess. Not great, but maybe they just have a bunch of Bloodbraid Elves in hand. They have to block. Or kill this. The removal spell. Yeah. Abrupt Decay. Yeah. Sure thing. Now, this has got to be a Blood Braid. No? They just have random removal spells in hand, I suppose. Okay. Let's just keep passing the turn. They could just have, like... Bolt, that can abrupt decay. They could have something like an Assassin's Trophy. It's hard to say. Blood Moon, okay.
That should be good. They need Abrupt Decay like right now because they need to float black mana. Otherwise, they just have one green source and zero black sources. Nice. Because now they cannot Liliana, they cannot Voidwalker, they cannot Fatal Push or Thoughtseize. I mean, they could naturally draw Swamp, but I doubt it. Oh my god. <laughs> and Ignoble Hierarch for second Black Source. Jesus. Oh man. They're at 11. <laughs> now I draw a Sunbaked Canyon that I cannot crack. Is that Ultimate Punish? Jesus. Blood Moon just went from looking so good to so bad here. Oh my god. They have double black mana now. They're going to Liliana. Okay, triple black. Now this Blood Moon is only hurting me. They attack for four. Interesting. I wonder if they have an answer. Or if they're just going to attack for four and then take two. Trade a four for two. Ah, oh, just brutal. I'm going to attack. Oh, could they have an... No, they can't cast Endurance. Okay. guess they don't have a Blood Raid Elf at this point. They would have cast it. Like any of the previous turns. They must have random removal spells. I really need to draw a sword or a culture complete. I have four, five, six, four, eight mana. So even Stoneforge. Yeah, I'm just drawing triple land the last three turns. Brutal. I'm, I want to play the lands out because they could they could be relevant. Like they could have multiple lightning bolts in hand, and I just die this turn. This has felt pretty bad, drawing three lands out of the last three draws. I mean, I have a lot of lands in my deck. I have 24 lands, but again, we're kind of like a Jund-style deck, so we need a lot of lands. Have a lot of good draws, too. Haven't... No season Pyromancer. Okay, Lightning Bolt. I think I should just... I'm at five. I think I need to attack, and then when they go to attack with this exalted, then I bolt this. I don't want to take one more hit and die to bolt myself, so. Attack. They have three cards in hand. It must be removal spells. They can cast them with these. Okay, gonna bolt this when they attack. Just don't know what else they can have. Maybe lands? Bloodbird Elf? Okay. BBE into Inquisition. Alright. So I just bolt the Illusion and then I die to the Bloodbraid. Oh man, that sucks. I'm dead. Dead on board. Pretty pretty bad way to go, honestly. Not happy here. <laughs> yep, GG's. Pretty rough. Rough O2 to start here. I'll play another one, but... Oh man, brutal. 1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Every game, the deck feels like it's not really doing anything that powerful, though. So, we'll see how it feels in the next games. If it doesn't feel good again, I'll probably just drop the deck, but... It was a cool idea, nonetheless. I'll see you in round three. All right. 0-2 in the league. Rough rough start here. Um, they have Allurus. We're going to keep this hand. This hand looks fine. Planes with Allurus. Okay, is it hammer time? Probably is. Yep, it's definitely hammer time. Okay. I'm going to need to shock, bolt this, let them draw a card, because I need to Stoneforge on two anyway. I could have just gone tap land and ignore this, I suppose, but I think I'd rather bolt it. Let's see if they Stoneforge here. Wow, 
Saga. Just can't beat that card. <laughs> okay, well, shit. Little two for one on the Esper Sentinel. And then I'm just going to Stone Forge. What should I get? I wonder if I should get Cauldra Complete or Batter Skull. Batter Skull to gain life might be better. Ornithopter down to two cards in hand. They can start making Karnstrucks, but I can deal with those pretty easily. It's Shock down to 14. I think Stoneforge for Batter Skull makes the most sense. It's Batter Skull. Go. They need another land to, to be able to uh, start making tokens here. And it takes their whole turn if they want to do that. Ink Moth Nexus. That's scary. But certainly beatable. Again, if they just car instruct, I can ending that. But the Esper Sentinel is also kind of annoying. In Skyclave Apparition, they're Sentinel, and then they're going to make a Karnstruck, make another Karnstruck, and hit me for a bunch of damage. I guess alternatively, I can just play a tap land and plan to put in a Batter Skull, and then deal with their Karnstrucks later. I think I like that the best. Could also leave up a Lightning Bolt, but I don't want to let them draw off Esper Sentinel this time, so I think I'm going to tap land, pass. Again, plan to put in Batter Skull. They're going to make two Karnstrucks, almost certainly. And then I just need to be able to beat those, which I might be able to do. So we're just playing the, sto the slow Stone Forge Mystic game here. They make a 5-5, five five, then they make a 6-6. Six six. And actually, they're going to be 7-7s. Seven wow. Urza Saga is a pretty insane card. So I'm going to take a hit for 7. Yeah, and then I have to deal with Sentinel plus... Oh my god, I needed to... Wow, that's 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 how this league is going, huh? I needed to um, I needed to fetch it in response. I needed to Stoneforge put Batter Skull in. I think I can just concede at this point. Wow. Uh, I guess I can I guess I can keep playing, but now they Stoneforge, but they can just put in a hammer. Oh man, I forgot about that interaction. Rough league here. All right, they're going to attack for six. Okay, we go to eight. And let's bolt this. They did not want to play hammer yet because they can't equip it. Let's pay one. Yes. Get out of there. Okay. So now I can go ending on this plus Skyclave something. I can Skyclave their needle. And then they can just go hammer. Maybe put it onto Ornithopter kill me. But there's nothing I can do about that. They only have hammer plus one other card right now. So let's go to seven. Just deciding what to Skyclave here. I could just Skyclave their Ornithopter. That might be the safest line. It's ending this. Now I think I'm gonna Skyclave the Ornithopter actually. I can just hard cast a batter spell next turn if I choose to. I don't really need my, my stone forge down. Then this way, if they deal with my Skyclave, they just get nothing. Which is nice. Cigar to Zade, Hammer, and then I have to Chump. But they, oh, they can, no, now they can just fire up Ink Moth. Oh, then they're one mana short. So then I can now Skyclave Apparition the Cigar to Zade. And then they can hammer in response. So I do have to block here. Then they're just going to hammer. Okay. So I suppose I just block here. 
then I have to hammer, and then I can skyclave the hammer, actually. So as long as they don't have double hammer. Oh, it loses flying. I am just playing real loose this league. And Shadow Spear equip also. So it has Trample. That's honestly pretty insane. Their last two cards were Shadow Spear plus Hammer. Sure. Just get me out of this league. I've played terribly and just not doing well with the deck. All right, Shattering Spree, Stony Silence. I don't even know. Stony Silence doesn't really do that much. I mean, it still turns off like they're pure still Paladin. They can't equip for zero with Stony Silence in play. So it still does that. Let's get Path in there. Blood Moon and Magus are good. Oh man, that this league is just so brutal. Just not playing well either. I guess I want one sword, but not both. Maybe just Sword of Fire and Ice is better, because I can kill stuff with it. And Esper Sentinel seems pretty bad against them. I need one more card out. I think Cauldron Complete can be fine here. Ragavan just is not great. Even though it's fine on the play, they have like just Mem Knights and everything that just blanket. It. It's actually not that great. I guess I could have sided out of land. Maybe that would have been the correct choice, but yep, this deck is not feeling good. All right. Snap keep this hand. This hand looks great. We have turn one Ragavan backed up by multiple removal spells here. So. I think I'm just going to shock. Rag. Go. And then, yeah, with ending and bullet feeling decent. Springleaf Drum, Ornithopter, another one drop, Esper Sentinel, Giver of Runes, okay. So do I want to get the Springleaf Drum? Probably not. I think I just don't really care about it. What I could do though is Exile, Giver, and Ornithopter right now, and then they have to play a creature for the Springleaf Drum, they don't get extra mana on their turn. I think I like that, especially given I have another ending. So let's let's do it. Lightning Bolt this, then attack. And then probably ending this. We just exile the land. I'm just gonna get this out of there. Okay. Just keep the treasure in play, seems good. Now if they just play one thing, or I can clear blockers more easily still. Cigar does aid, okay. I could just exile the pure still paladin now with ending. I guess I'll just start by attacking. See what I hit. Stoneforge Mystic, nice. Let's go land, plains, Stoneforge. Now I suppose I can just get, I can get Cauldron Complete or Sword of Fire and Ice. Both are pretty strong. Sword of Fire and Ice might be better, honestly. Because then if they play more creatures, I can threaten to kill those. But Cauldron Complete can deal with their, their hammer pretty well. So let's just get Cauldron Complete and then also go white, red, ending this. Nice. Take their Stoneforge Mystic with better art. That's what we need to win. There's an Igmoth Nexus. Sure. Steel Shaper's Gift, get hammer. Okay. I mean, I can die to this Ink Moth next turn. I don't have an answer to it right now. So 
Maybe I should have just get, gotten this out of there. I mean, I guess Pure Steel Paladin might have done it as well. Sunbaked Canyon. So do I want to put in Calder Complete and attack? No, because I can put in Calder Complete and then the hammer makes their creature lose flying. And this has first strike and the ability whenever this deals damage to a creature, exile that creature. So they actually, I don't think they can really beat Calder Complete if I just put that into play. So I think it might be fine. Let's just attack. Treasure. It's a needle as well. I can just na name Inkmoth Nexus. Wow. These are some good Ragavan hits. Inkmoth Nexus. And then I can put in Cauldra Complete right now. And then also play a Season Pyromancer this turn. I guess I could have attacked, but I didn't know that I was hitting that needle to shut this off, so this is fine. And there's a stony silence as well. Okay. Do have to watch out for their hammer, but again, just a cauldron complete sitting here. I don't think they can win. That was um, some insane ragavanning looting there. Oh shit, was I supposed to side in Fury as well? I mean, they have so many small things. Of course I'm supposed to side in Fury. This league has been something else. I'm really not playing well. I mean, Ragavan was insane there, but it's not even that good on the draw. I mean, maybe Fury is just better than Solitude, but I think both are good. Maybe I don't even want Sword of Fire and Ice as well. So I'm just always going to go for Calder Complete. It's weird, but I think that's actually okay. And then... Maybe th four Blood Moons is just a little bit too many, especially on the draw. Go two Blood Moon, one Magus. Or just triple Blood Moon. Can even just go down to two Blood Moon effects. Let's just try it like this. Sure. Can't believe I didn't have the Furies in. I, I definitely should have Fury in. All right. Can we get a match win? That's the question. They're on the play. They're revealing their Luris, and we have a good hand. Trying to keep. Keep. I don't want to have to path on turn one, but we have a bolt, which is nice. Probably need to fetch shock with this hand. I was even thinking earlier today about not letting somebody get needle off Urza Saga, but then when you actually are playing against it, especially recording and talking, it's easy to forget. Right, it's just Arid Mesa Go. They just went Plains Go. Really interesting start for that deck. They might just Pure Steel Paladin on two, I suppose. Oh, Urza Saga on two. That makes sense. And then Needle right now. Okay, I'm going to fetch. They might just name Stoneforge Mystic. I mean, I can just Skyclave a Needle. Let's just get a tapped Sacred Foundry here. I could also just get Plains. I'm going to get planes because I want to get planes for Blood Moon. Stoneforge Mystic, I suppose. Yeah. Thopter. I'm not going to path a Thopter right now. Yes, I could have shocked and bolted, but I have this Blood Moon that's threatening to kill this on three, so let's shock and just play a Stoneforge. Not really in danger of dying. I guess they could go Cigar as they double hammer. Let's get Cauldra Complete. Because again, I can Skyclave this and then put in Cauldra Complete. Is I think a good way to win this matchup actually, now that I thought about it a little bit more. 
she called her complete sitting there and their hammer makes it lose flying and then this just makes them not be able to attack unless they have double hammer okay well i'm just gonna blood moon this turn i think nice so i'm gonna get planes play blood moon and then kill this they can make a card instruct in response but then they can't play any ink moths or um any more urza sagas Oh, they oh they couldn't because they didn't have the mana. Wow, that's actually huge. Forgot about that. Nice. Blood Moon doing its thing. Mem Knight was probably the draw. Now I get to just oh wow. I don't think I even need to Shattering Spree yet. I'm just gonna Skyclave the Pipping Needle, and then leave up Bolt. Then I can just put Calder Complete in next turn. And I mean, I could just triple Shattering Spree next turn. And I'm probably going to Bolt here. Guess I'll just get the thing with one power. I don't, I'm not sure. So I can just go Shattering Spree, leave them with nothing, and then also put in Calder Complete attack for seven. It's probably worthwhile, right? Replicate it twice. Pretty funny, but... Just get all those. Put that in and attack for seven. And then just still have path. Nice. I mean, Blood Moon basically got them. Their own draw also kind of got them. They weren't really doing much. Prismatic ending the germ. Okay, well, I'm pretty close to just equipping this for seven. So that's good. Wow, it's dash, nice. Now I can equip next turn as well. Attack for four, get a Colossus hammer. Just wonder if I even want to cast this. I mean, I don't think it does anything. Maybe being in play, they can take it back somehow. I think I'd rather just leave it exiled because probably not equipping for eight. Yeah, they, I mean, they were just dead to this next turn anyway. Nice. Got a match win. Look at that. One and two. Let's see you in the next round. Let's go. All right, welcome to round four. I'm going to keep this hand. We have double stone forge. I mean, that's something. Black, red. So this is maybe Spike Square stack, so we'll see if our cyborg plan has legs here. I could fetch, I could just lead with a tap Sacred Foundry because I might want to get planes anyway. Okay, oops, so six. I think I might have pressed seven, I don't even know what that does. Let's just turn off auto yields. What does seven do? Does it do anything? No, it doesn't do anything, okay. All right, this is Mardu, Dash Ragavan, nothing I can do. What do they hit? A mountain, okay. They do get a treasure. Might need to just ending the Ragavan, even though that's annoying. I mean, I could Stone Forge, but then I guess if they Dash plus Bolt, that's pretty annoying as well. It's pretty close. I think I want to stone forge because yes, they can go dash plus bolt. But then the upside is then next turn I get to go stone forge plus prismatic ending. So I get to double spell next turn. Alternatively, though, yeah, I mean, I can ending a dragon rage channel right now, play a tap land, and then next turn I could just skyclave apparition something. But I think I like the stone forge line. So let's do it. Not sure what I should get. Both swords are enticing with this draw, as is. I think I should just get Batter Skull, honestly, because it might help me race. It's just Batter Skull. I'm expecting the Stoneforge to die. 
on the second stone forge, I can think about getting like a sword of fire and ice. Yeah, they're gonna bolt plus dash. They're down to 13. Uh oh, what is this? Colgan's command? Prismatic ending for two. They paid three mana. They only needed to pay two mana for this. Maybe they thought X equals needs to equal two, but it's only the colors of mana. So you can spend like white, like white, black, or white, red. Uh, you don't need to spend all three colors like they did. So now I can go ending plus second stone forge, or I can go apparition. I kind of like ending plus second stone forge here. So let's shock down to 12, ending. So you only need to pay the one color of mana to exile a one drop. Doesn't matter what X is. Now let's go Stoneforge Mystic. Would you like to use this ability? Yes. I mean, they could easily have another answer for this Stoneforge. Then getting Cauldre Complete's not worth. So I think I want sort of Fire and Ice. Maybe sort of Feast and Famine protects against removal better, but this threatens to kill these if they don't Delirium right now. So, And I can always just Apparition those as well. Okay, they're dashing. I mean, I'm going to block the Ragavan if they let me. I can just hard cast my equipment. Oh, wow. They're letting me eat Dragon Rage? For free? And then put in a Batter Skull? Thing is, though, if I just trade with Ragavan, they don't get to draw a card off my library. And then I get to Skyclave a Dragon Rage. Getting to keep... Oh, yeah, because... If they play any instant or something and then turn this on and eat Stoneforge, it's pretty bad. I'm just going to go with the trade here and not allow them to get value. They could play another Ragavan or something. Sure. Their Dragon Rage turns into a 3-3 now, but I can just Skyclave that again. Oh, wow. Scourge of the Skyclaves. That was a good draw as well. So I'm probably just going Sunbaked Canyon... Apparition away the Scourge of the Skyclave, and then just plan to take three off this. They gain... Oh, I could have them gain three, then this shrinks. Can't quite do that. So they're just Mardu, Death Shadow, Scourge, Ragavan, DRC, good cards. <laughs> that's, that's the concise name of their deck. They bobble, surveil, sure. I guess they're going to see if they want it, but maybe they should have fetched first. I'm not sure. They have zero cards in hand. I think I'm pretty favored from this point. I guess they can lure us here. Lure us Ragavan, which is annoying. They can't cast lure us yet. So they bobble targeted themselves. They shuffled it. After milling an Inquisition, then they're going to take Lurus to hand and draw a card with Bobble. Okay. Then they have to attack for three. I mean, I can Sword Equip attack. But it's not a Sword of Feast and Famine, so I don't get to untap my lands. I don't like just leaving up Solitude. What's the alternative line? I can alternatively I can just skyclave their DRC, leave up bolt. I don't hate that. And then I can just bolt the Luris. They're gonna go Luris dash Ragavan, I guess. I like this. Get this out of here. Attack for two. Leave up Bolt. Maybe going for Solitude there was the play, but I like this. Yeah, they just had nothing. So now if they just lure us Ragavan, it's that's not that bad for me. I get to Bolt untap Solitude, or oh, they have Thoughtseize. Okay, well, I still have two answers to the Luris and all these really good equipment, so still looking good.
Skyclave Apparition and Prismatic Ending should be both a house in this matchup. They take the bolt. Sure. Definitely not cracking any Sunbait Canyons because I want to make sure I can hard cast this Solitude if I need to. And another Thoughtseize. Wow. So their draws were Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. But now they're down to three. So what? They're going to lure us Bobble? I mean, now, I was going to say I could crack, but I can just go sword equip, and then they have to chump sword equip attack with that one. They're going to have to just chump. Fine going to six here. I'll equip the bigger one. If I attack with both, they could block this one, but then they would go to six and die. So they actually still have to block the big one, even if I attack with both. So I hit them, they gain three, take two. Okay. Looking great. And then this sword actually gives protection from the uh, illusions. All right, they make a 9 9 Death Shadow. Well, that's nice. Good top deck. We were still in a reasonable spot there, though. I mean, they could have killed us with a TBR or something, but all right. Nice. Just got too much value there. Blood Moon and Magus are decent. I think Sanctifier and Vec is actually really good. It's good against Lurus, and it's just pro black and red. Good thing to slap equipment onto. Path also seems good against Death Shadow and Scourge. Solitude is actually insane in this matchup because if they have double Death Shadow, you exile one, they gain a bunch of life, and then their other Death Shadow dies. They do not have Stoneforge Mystic because they have Lurus. Don't think Fury is necessarily good. I think maybe these are the only five we want. I think two Blood Moon might be a good amount. They they have some basics, but they weren't fetching them that often. I think Esper Sentinel is whatever. It's just not that high impact. I think I kind of wanted it. Maybe this shouldn't be in the deck. When I originally was brewing this deck, I wanted Ragavan and Dragon Rage Channeler, but then... My only sorcery was four prismatic ending. I had a lot of creatures, so I didn't actually have that many spells for DRC. And uh, I was like, well, maybe if I just play Esper Sentinel over DRC, it'll be good. But maybe this is the card I'm not supposed to have. And maybe I just have less one drops and maybe find like another two drop or have to play a third color and then play like Ren and Six or just something else that's good. I I'm not sure, but maybe Esper Sentinel is not where you want to be. I thought it'd be better at holding equipment and I guess it, I, I think it might be fine, but who knows, who knows. Okay, what's the last cut? I think having all the bolts against Death Shadow can actually be kind of scary for them because it puts them in an awkward spot like they can't really go to six. So it's, it's kind of nice just to have a bunch of bolts to maybe just get them. Do I want to get rid of one sword? Both swords can be good because Feast and Famine is good against Scourge and Death Shadow, and this is good against both of their red one drops. Maybe Feast and Famine is just better than Fire and Ice, and I just go down one equipment. Sure. Maybe not though, because Sanctifier and Vec plus Swords is so, such a good such a good strat. Could side out a land or a Ragavan on the draw. Don't want to side out a Solitude, or definitely don't want to side out a Prismatic Ending. I guess I could side out Cauldra Complete. So I'm not really going to be getting that over Sword or Batter Skull. Yeah, I like this, because their deck also has a bunch of removal. So I'm not really going to be stone forging for Cauldra Complete that much. Is it Complete, or is it Complete? <laughs> I think you say it Complete. Alright, I'm going to keep this hand... 
Maybe it's just not. Maybe this isn't good enough because they have a lot of thought seasons and stuff. All right, all right. This is infinitely better. Just put back a fetch, I suppose. Could just put back a bolt. No, because they have a bunch of one drops that I need to kill. All right, let's just put back a land. I know I can't cast my three drop yet, but I want all this to play around thought seasons and stuff. This is better than the first hand for sure. It's like. It, what, imagine if they would just lead turn one monkey or something. Need a lot of interaction or in, inquisition plus next turn thought season to monkey or something it is rough. They have to worry about this card. Just gonna go flooded strand. Go. All these cards seem great in this matchup. I mean, I guess Bolt isn't great, but still has targets in DRC and. Um, monkey, yeah, they just take the hate card. So it's already performing pretty well considering they had to take it. Can probably just get a sacred foundry here. Nothing from the opponent? Interesting. Okay. They're gonna just cast monkey. Interesting. Probably gonna just shock and bolt here. Interesting that they just played that out. I guess I could have untapped and just prismatic ending and then had bolt up. Maybe that was the place to be. Because now they might dash another monkey. Spirit Mesa. And I'm probably going to get planes here. So if I draw Blood Moon, I can have two planes. And they fetch shock. So they probably have a shadow or a scourge in hand. What is this? Three mana? Oh, take Loris. Okay. Let's just get planes. I could have just not fetched here, but I think this is a good. Blood Moon? No. All right. Just going to pass. I guess if they go land and then play Loris, it's definitely annoying because they can just play Loris Ragavan here. I'm still okay against that. Yeah, they're just not going to play anything. I don't know. They're gonna, they should play Loris Ragavan here. It's still just good value. Okay, well, sure. I think I'm just going to get Triome at this point. Bolt. It's a fine draw, actually. It just makes me feel more protected. And if I draw another land, it's actually a decent draw because I can just flash into Solitude whenever they do eventually play something. I'm shocked they didn't go for the Loris Ragavan. Now they're going to go for Luris Dash Ragavan. All right, Luris is fine. And then Dash the Ragavan. So I need to Bolt Ragavan. Then I can untap and Skyclave or Prismatic Ending the Luris. Weird line from the opponent here. Okay. Land. Okay, I'm just going to Solitude this, I think. Just seems good to me. Just get out. They gain three life. I get a 3-2 lifelink as well, which is good. Yeah, it's probably just going to die, but still just a two for one. Yeah, Bolt. And then dash monkey. Okay, they get a hit in. Sure, nothing I can do. Maybe for that reason I should have just gone for like the skyclave on the on the lures or something. But I think just the solitude was so much better there. All right, they just exiled. Would would they exile? Sacred foundry. Okay, I'm glad we didn't draw that. I have a monkey in hand. We just while well, we draw another secret foundry i could just skyclave a treasure it's probably just gonna die anyway and then they're gonna just dash monkey again they're just gonna keep dashing monkey skyclaving a treasure is just such bad value but at least it's a blocker for monkey don't love it could just wait, just take another hit. Sucks, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. 
Skyclaving a treasure is basically the same as just playing a blank Skyclave. Does not feel good. Hopefully they just hit another land off this Ragavan. Prismatic ending, okay. DRC, sure. That's actually something I can kill with Skyclave, which is nice. Glad I waited. Even if Skyclave dies, it's obviously just so worth it. And path, great draw. That out of there. And then hopefully they just play removal spell here. And then just dash monkey again, I path it. Sure. Don't really care about the 1-1. One, one. They're going to try to draw here? No, what is this? Yeah, they're trying to draw. They're trying. Yep. Their path plus Blood Moon is also a pretty bad combo here, but I still think it's worth. We just have two moons, so it's not like our main game plan either. Scourge. Oh, dash the Ragavan. Just shocking because... Definitely get a path, the Ragavan. Uh, monkey. At six. Do they know about this? I think they do. Death Shadow. Okay, well, I can exile that. Another Death Shadow. Where's the Solitude at? Oh, Season Pyromancer. That's a great draw. So let's just exile the Death Shadow. And then Season Pyromancer, draw two cards. And then exile another one. Nice. That was some good draws. Season Pyromancer is a hell of a card, though. It really is a, is a nice card advantage engine. Especially when you're these, like, Jun-style decks. Okay, well, that sucks. Nothing we could do. So they get to escape Croxa here. Man, we had the Sanctifier and Vector in our opening, and just we haven't been able to see another one. I think this matchup should be great for us, but we might lose this game. Because now we're going to six. They have a, a Croxa. We have a lot of answers, but use a lot of our answers as well. Blood Moon. Okay. I mean, if I Blood Moon now, they have one Black Source, but they attack, and they hit us down to three, and then we chump, and then we go to two. Three, four, five, six. I think it's actually still worth it just to play. If I want to lock them out of playing spells, I guess they have a treasure as well. Maybe this is just not worth I could also just die to a lot of like spells, like a Bolt or anything, but... Yeah, this Crocs is looking rough for me. Okay, so now I just am dead to Croxa. Ah, if I didn't play Blood Moon and I had Season Pyromancer, maybe I could have gotten out of it. But go game three. Again. Now they need, if we have a Sanctifier, they need to Thought Seize, and then we also threaten to draw these as the game goes on, which we can deploy at any time. We showed them Blood Moon, which is also kind of annoying for us. I mean, we could also even rest in peace, but... What, they probably have like two Croxa, Luris, I guess K-Command. They have a lot. They have Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay, okay. Moon seems fine, honestly, but yeah, I should have had Rest in Peace also, I think. Don't want to take out a Bolt. Don't want to take out a Pyro. Everything is good. That's the problem. Let's just do this. Just go one Blood Moon. It's kind of clunky, and I think my like other hate cards are better. All right, we're on the play. 
they're going to reveal their lures. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand is great. We have two graveyard hate cards. And I think this card is honestly just incredible in the matchup. I, know, I guess they can prismatic ending it, but still, it's really good. Rest in Peace is also good. Let's see. I think I'm just going to play Tapland here because I might want to just get basic. I suppose they could Ragavan here. I wonder what I play on two. If I play Sanctifier, they'll probably just Thought Seize me. I'll probably take Sanctifier and then I probably just play Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah, Let's see what they take. This hand is good. If they take Stoneforge, I'm just going to slam Sanctifier. If they take Sanctifier, I'm going to slam Stoneforge. So I think that's kind of where we're at. They took rest in peace. Wow, I was not expecting that. They might have an answer for this, but now I think I'm still gonna. I think I'm still gonna just slam Stoneforge. Ooh, I don't want to dash that. It's tempting though. I mean, getting the Ragavan down, uh, getting the Sanctifier down is good, but I feel like they have prismatic ending because they left this in my hand. Just gonna stone forge. This is Sanctifier is still good later. I know it can get thought seized, but so can Stone Forge. Just gonna stone stone forge for sword, I guess. I guess just batter skull, maybe. Alright, just batter skull. Then they have to kill this. Kind of takes their turn. And then if I draw a land, it'll be good to go Sanctifier plus Ragavan. They're going to bobble themselves, but they have to fetch if they want to play a two drop anyway, so. Okay, Bolt, sure. And then they're not playing a sorcery. Interesting. Land. Land? No. I can dash a Ragavan now, but I think now just getting this down makes sense to me. Expecting them to untap and prismatic ending it. And maybe I should have gotten a sword there over the batter skull. But I still think getting batter skull there is probably fine. They have to have prismatic ending, right? There's almost like no chance they don't have it. I guess that's one reason this Mardu deck has an upside because it can deal with this card where black red like you can't really deal with it at least the way black red's generally built channeler into prismatic ending no into croxa wow all right what do i want to discard so this croxa is just getting exiled to the sanctifier i mean i could just discard batter skull sure Land, nice. Land is really good. So I can go ending plus dash Ragavan and just get my treasure. I can also just Skyclave the Dragon Rage Channeler. Then that takes my entire turn. They only have two cards left. I can also go. Ending plus dash Ragavan is tempting. If I hit a one drop, it's so good. And then just save the Skyclay for later. All right, let's just do it. Shock, dash. Hit a one drop off the top of their deck. Did hit a one drop, but not one I want to cast. I still get the treasure though. Still seems worth it. They're down to six. I have two answers for Death Shadow and Scourge, so I'm not that scared of that. They're going even lower. 
get basic, take Horus. Wow, they're at five. I'm just gonna dash monkey again. Red, white, dash, hit them to one. Bolt this. Okay, they do have Bolt. They have a Lurus in hand. They can Lurus Bobble. Sure. Could have just played Skyclave, but that seems bad because I can just Skyclave a, a Lurus here if I want. Or even just Path the Lurus too. Path the Lurus end of turn. But they did not have the Prismatic Ending. Okay. So they're going to take one of my answers. Yeah, they snap off Skyclave, and they wear us bobble here almost assuredly. I'm going to path it. Might even just path right now, because then if I draw a sword, I can just play and equip. It's not that relevant, but I think it's just worth it, honestly. Could also draw a Season Pyromancer. Let's just path. Get them down to one. Okay, we draw the season pyro. Bolt, another season pyro. And a fire ice, these cards are great. And they are dead to this unless they have something. I'm kind of surprised at how good Sanctifier and Vec ended up being in the meta. I think it's just right now it's just really strong because black red decks are, are good so nice fought back to two and two all of our games have gone three matches um this is a, I, honestly been a great league i played pretty badly at the beginning but i've been played for a couple days before this and playing a brand new brew so that together makes it kind of rough let's go round five and let's see if we can end this league on, on a positive note at three two all right welcome to the fifth and final round of this modern league we're against jvi darte with the Nahiri logo or whatever whatever this is called. <laughs> let's uh let's keep this mediocre hand with this cauldra complete. Complete? I think it's complete. Oh burn? Okay. Burn, huh? We're drawing a Stoneforge Mystic, which is a fantastic draw actually. Let's just go planes ending. Get out. So they know about Stoneforge. I'm going to Stoneforge for Batter Skull. And then I'm probably going to Season Pyro, like discarding both of my equipments when they kill the Stoneforge. Okay, nothing I can do. I still need to just jam my Stoneforge. I wonder if I should fetch Mountain here. I guess I can just Shock. Probably going to fetch Mountain next turn anyway, but... Maybe Fetching Mountain would have been better. I'm not really sure. Stoneforge go to 14. They have three cards in hand. Let's get a Batter Skull. Let's go. And then now, yeah, they probably kill this. And then I Season Pyro discarding these equipment. Go to 12. Rift Bolt suspended. Okay. Goblin Guide, geez. Stoneforge Mystic on top. So they have a Rift Bolt suspended. I think I need to season Pyromancer. Because otherwise, if I Stoneforge, they just kill that with the Rift Bolt, and it's really bad for me. I go to nine, I go to seven. I also kind of want to discard both equipment. I guess I can discard Stoneforge plus Cauldre Complete and then just try to get to Hardcast on this Batter Skull. I need to make two 1-1s one because if they Rift Bolt this, I need blockers. So, oh, Solitude, let's go. Okay, Solitude is fantastic. Skyclave Apparition is actually decent as well. I might need to evoke this Solitude. I'm also down to 7. Maybe they Rift Bolt me here. They, they are Rift Bolting me. Wow. So maybe I just can get up to this Solitude and start gaining some life. They're drawing a card, sure. I 
can also solitude one of my own creatures to gain life if they go for the win at any point. They're down to 10. Okay, I'm in this. Here in Mesa. Let's play a tapped Hallowed Fountain. I'm, I cannot play a Skyclave Apparition because I have to take damage to do that. So let's play this tap. Pass the turn. I hope they just go for like, I mean, I don't hope they go for a Boros Charm, but again, I can always solitude my own creatures. Sucks that I'm gonna have to potentially go to three here to cast Solitude, which is not good. Don't necessarily have to, but. Okay, they're going for an upkeep Boros Charm. So let's let the Eidolon trigger resolve. Then I need to Solitude one of my own creatures and then play a Batter Skull. So they go to eight. Cast with Evoke. And then I can't exile itself. So I need to exile Season Pyromancer, go to six, and then go down to two. And then hope they just have like lands or creatures in hand. Which is probably not going to happen. Probably just a little bit too slow here. Any burn spell kills me, yeah. Skull crack. Okay. Close. I get to bring in triple timely reinforcements here. I probably also want Fury. I don't think Blood Moon is good. Path is is fine. I mean it kills their creatures, but I have a lot of better answers to their creatures, I feel like. Sanctifier and Vec is still just a 2-2 pro red. It's got to be good enough to slap equipment onto. But these are the ones that are coming out. Cauldra Complete can definitely come out. Almost always getting Batter Skull. Sort of Feast and Famine can come out. I just want those two equipment. I think I want Solitude. I mean, Esper Sentinel, it's fine. I think I can just side it out, though, because it doesn't really trade with any of their creatures that well. Yes, it's kind of annoying for them, but if the game goes longer and they have a little extra mana, they could easily just pay the extra mana and just keep bolting me and just ignore it. I think it's fine just to have out and just have all my removal, plus Sanctifier Invect is just something better to suit up than Esper Sentinel anyway. So one Blood Moon can be okay in this matchup, but I think this sideboard plan looks good to me. So let's go. We have Fury, Solitude, Bolt, Prismatic Ending as early removal spells. Yeah, I'm going to keep. This hand looks good. Do I want to fetch for um, the tap land here? The, the Triome? I think so. Looks like they're in the tank. I think this matchup should be good. I just freaked out for a second. I was like, did I actually bring in the Timelys or did I miss them? But I brought them in. So I have three Timely, three Sanctifier in back. So that's a lot to deal with. If they just Goblin Guide, I might Sanctifier in back before Stoneforge Mystic. Take less damage. This is basically just a two mana, two, two pro red. All right, there's Goblin Guide. So, I think I'll just fetch now. Not sure what's better. Okay. Well, it was land, land after fetching. So now I'm going to just Sanctifier. Just get, it's not a core Firewalker, but it is a, uh, again, a pro red body. Idle on here. If they idle on, I would just skyclave it. All right. I mean, I'm gonna just block Goblin Guide here. It's a seasoned Pyromancer on top. 
they're, they're gonna have a burn spell anyway. I might as well just eat the Goblin Guide and then I can start chumping the Swift Spear with my pro red creature. Yeah, they bolt me down to 14. Then we draw the Season Pyro. Is there any reason to Skyclave this? I don't think so. I think Stoneforge plus Tapland has got to be best here. Maybe even just get Sword of Fire and Ice to put on my Sanctifier. Might need the Lifelink from Batter Skull. It's just Batter Skull. And then play this tapped. Pass the turn. Again, they, they're going to almost have to point a removal spell at Stoneforge or kill me next turn. Rift Bolt. Okay. I have ending. I can ending this and then put in a batter scroll. So I can easily die here because they can just Boros throw me down to eight, Rift Bolt me down to five, and then double bolt me on their turn. So I basically have to just hope that doesn't happen. I don't have a timely, so there's not much I can do about this, I think. So I'm just going to go ending and then pass the turn and just hope I don't die. That's all I can do. I mean, their hand has to be pretty good, so it has to be like a turn for a win here. And if they don't have the win, then I'm probably going to win because then I get to hit with a batter skull and that should be enough. I'm just not even a... I mean, I guess they could have attacked for two. I don't think it's that relevant. They could have multiple creatures. Boros Charm me. Yep, that's worst case scenario. I go down to five, and then they need two out of their three last cards because they're going to draw a card for turn just to be three damage burn spells for the win. Which is not that hard. No, they're slamming. Two. Oh, Rift Bolt? Okay. So if I can gain four here, maybe it's enough. Oh, maybe they have a skull crack. There's nothing I can do. Okay, let's hit. We don't have a timely skull crack. Damn. <laughs> I don't think I have any outs because they have a Rift Bolt suspended. Brutal. GG's. Got caught by Burn. I think this should be a decent matchup, but Burn will get you sometimes. Could have. I don't think I could mulligan that hand. We just. I mean, you could also just naturally draw into Timely. So ended up 2-3 in the league. Deck honestly didn't feel that good. It just felt like we were a mid-range deck that was kind of underpowered, honestly. And I think one of the main problems was Esper Sentinel, just in this deck specifically, didn't have enough synergy. Like, in Hammer Time, it's an artifact that matters. It just didn't quite cut it. There could still be a Ragavan Stoneforge Mystic deck, but maybe you want to build it some other way. Um... Again, I would cut these. I don't think you can play Dragon Rage Channeler either. Um, so I'm not sure exactly where to go. I like to, like, at the end of the video, talk about what changes I would make to the deck. I think 24 lands actually felt pretty decent because I wanted a lot of lands. If there was another good two drop, maybe I would want that. Again, I could play Dragon Rage Channeler over this. Like, also, I can, I can just show you real quick. This is, like, kind of how I started out. I had like some Luris's main, I had Bobbles for the DRCs. Um, so maybe this is just, maybe this is just a better way to go. And then four ending, I could just try this in the future, 23 lands, um, but pretty similar deck, except DRC has another threat, which could be better. And then just some Luris's main for value, but this just didn't have the season Pyromancers. So it's something, but I'm, I'm not sure because yeah, Bobble, DRC. I mean, you don't have Luris Companion. You're playing Blood Moon and Skyclave Apparition, but you can't play Luris Companion with Stoneforge for these bigger equipment anyway, so not sure. Maybe maybe the deck is just kind of a flop. I like this build better than the DRC one, but maybe Esper Sentinel is, is not what you want. But thank you so much for watching. Again, channel youtube.com slash snapbolt. 
link in the description below go to the channel subscribe to the channel if you liked this video thank you so much and until next time peace